All right, guys, it's a new year, which means a new franchise mode, which we are going to be running. And I am so excited. So I ran a poll on the community section of the YouTube channel. And after a day or so, the votes came through and we're going with the Ottawa Senators. Buffalo was close. We already did Buffalo, I think, in 23. But this year we are starting with the Ottawa Senators. Now, as a Leafs fan, this pains me a little bit, but as a GM with no bias, we have to win a cup with this team. So GM Leafer is here to take over the Ottawa Senators. Will he do a better job? I hope so. We, we, we sure do hope so. So let's go to Ottawa here. And here we are. The newly acquired Linus Allmark is the first top player with Brady Kachuk and Tim Stutzla. We have a total team budget of 103.6 million. And yeah, let's get this started. All right, division alignment. So let's see what our rating is in the Atlantic. So we are 87. We are not the worst. We are also not the best. We are second worst. The Canadians being the worst. And then we are tied with the Bruins and the Red Wings. Now the Atlantic is a very tough division. You guys know this. They got very good teams. And the Boston Bruins, the Florida Panthers, the Lightning, and the Maple Leafs. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can make the playoffs. And uh, the goal is to make the playoffs in our first year. It is. It just has to be. So owner mode we are turning off. Salary cap we're keeping on. Uh, head coach edits lines. I think we want to keep that on. All right, I was wrong. We're going to turn on head coach edit lines off. I'm going to keep Fogwar uh, on. I know you guys kind of gave me a little bit of slack last year when I had it on, but I think it just adds an element to the game. You know, we're going to turn off player morale in a heartbeat. We do not want that on. CPU trades will keep on and we will continue there. And let's get, oh, you know what? Before we get started, rules and settings. We'll keep this as a 25-year sim. I'm not too sure if we're going to go 25 years. I'm not really too sure. We're going to go period length, 20 minutes. So we want a real life uh, simulation here. So we're going to do 20 minutes. Injuries now. I kind of want to put them on during the regular season. It just adds that realism to the game. And it's easier to edit lines. It won't take as long. So I'm going to keep injuries um, on for the season and for playoffs. All right. Uh, everything else looks good. Uh, difficulty, we will do all-star difficulty. This is our first franchise mode. I'm, I'm a fairly new franchise mode player. I haven't really done a huge franchise haul since like NHL 1314. So we'll keep it at that. Difficulty, th that's a game. Okay, so difficulty, we'll do superstar actually. Trade difficulty, we'll keep it on medium for now for our first go through. Uh, waivers is on, accept relocation off, fog of war is on. And I think that is everything we want in that. So we are ready to go and take over the Ottawa Senators. Let's do this thing. All right. So we are looking at these menus for the first time and I'm loving it. I'll just say that right now. What we're going to do first though, is just check out the team. I kind of want to see what the lines are looking like. If we need to make any maybe signings, if there's any good free agents that we can sign right now. But honestly, like right now, this team looks good. Uh, we'll keep... Head coach will automatically update the lines after injuries. We want that on for sure. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so these are the lines. They I kind of want Stutzla on that top pairing. I or top pairing, the top line. So we have Stutzla, Kachuk, and Batherson. Giroux, Perron, Norris. I like that. Amadio, Pinto, Rid, Ridley, Greg, Cousins, Gregor, and McEwen. Defense, we got Shabbat and Zub. San, I kind of want Sanderson up there. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm trying to think. Maybe do we flip around these pairings? You know what? We'll do Sanderson, Zub, Shabbat, Bernard Docker, uh, Jensen, and Hamannick. In terms of scratched, all right, these guys are fairly young. I, I'm going to want to send Zach down. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. Uh, he's on a two-way. He's definitely going to go down to the minors so he can play. And then in there, we got Allmark and Anton Forsberg. So honestly, I don't think there's going to be much that we're going to change with this team. What I'm going to do on video, so you guys don't have to watch through that, is set up all our scouts and everything. And then honestly, we might be able just to get it straight into the sim. Our head coach, all right, we got a good head coach. We're going to talk to our head coach. We're going to use that system. We're going to tell him our goals, all that good stuff. So we tried hiring some scouts. We're going to sim a couple days. Hopefully they get to us. But like I said, I did want to have that conversation with our coach. First things first, before we do that, I do want to see if there's any expiring contracts here because we uh, I'm going to offer some out, some extensions out. Also, our cap hit, we only have 1.4 mil in cap space. Okay, interesting. So we have Claude Giroux expiring. He's got a new move clause. He is interested in an extension. I, I'm just curious what, what it would be. 
Um, one year, seven million dollars. Eh? Okay. All right. That's something we could do in the off season for Giroux. Other than that, I don't really see anyone expiring. You know what? Two of our rookies here. Uh, Bernard Bernard Docker needs a contract. He's looking. You know what? We might need to lock him up now. Uh, he is interested in extension. So is really Greg. So I think we're gonna maybe should we sign up? Like what? What has his production been in his career? That's that's what I'm more looking at. I don't. Does it show? I don't think it does, huh? I don't know. Maybe we just keep all this stuff for later. I mean, like realistically, let me look here. Centers, right? Greg, center left wing, like he would be good to have. What's his potential? Top six forward medium. What is he looking for? Three years, four mil. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off till the end of the year. Linus Allmark is a guy that I kind of want to lock up. But for 7.1 mil, he's getting paid five mil now. I don't know if, you know what, it might bite me in the ass, but honest to God, I think I'm going to wait for contract extensions towards the end of the year and just focus on this season. One thing I did want to check is Allmark, he is interested in an extension. Okay, so that's lovely. All right, so you know what, I think we're all good to start simming here, if I'm not mistaken. I really do think all the lines are set up good. Um, no, we are not good. Hold on. I feel like my head's all over the place right now, but there is that rookie that we wanted to send down who's just sitting right now. And for a 21-year-old, it makes no sense. Let's try to go get him some progress down in the AHL. With that being said, let's go make sure we throw him onto the team as well. So I'm really happy with our lines here. Uh, we're going to take him out for Hodge, Hodge, Hodgkin. Sure. Uh, or was he a left winger? Am I tripping? He was a left winger. Okay, we can take out someone that's like old would be great. Um, all right, I guess it's gonna be Reinhardt. So we'll throw in Ostapichuk. Hopefully I said that right. Sense fans, if you're watching this, if I said it wrong, please let me know. <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so HL lines are set up. What I didn't check here was power play. And I'm sorry guys, this video is probably all over the place right now. There will be more structure in the next one, I promise. Uh, so our power play one line, five plus chemistry. Power play two is a, a, a none, but you know what? I'm good with that. I think we're actually... Honest to God, I think we're ready to sim here, okay? Um, there's no one to really talk. You know what? Let's talk to our captain, Brady Kachuk. Let's talk to him about his season goals, okay? So let's discuss season goals. I have my own targets, but I'm open to here. A uh, good start is important, so let's focus on the first stretch of the season. Let's focus on goals for this season as a whole. I mean, we want to make the playoffs, so let's do that. Um, let's do a stat challenge for Kachuk. And let's do plus minus to be above 25, I think is a really good one. We, we want to make the playoffs. Sure, whatever. What's what's with the attitude, uh, Captain? Huh? All right. All right, Kachuk. All right. I see how it is. That's fine. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Um, And let's go and start simming, man. All right, our coach wants to have a conversation with us. Probably just another season goals here. So... Um, all right, GM Leifer, let's cut to the chase. We have a great opportunity season to run this team the way we want. I expect everyone to step up and give it their all. Let's establish our goals for this season. Sure. I agree. What are your thoughts for the roster? Looking at the roster on paper, there are some kinks to work out, but this team is a, is good enough to complete for a playoff spot. That is my goal. I agree. Wholeheartedly agree. Uh, thank you for the vote of confidence. This could be a uh, start of something great. End of conversation. We don't need to talk about preseason. Preseason is a joke, okay? All right, so that's a good conversation I have with the coach. He's thinking exactly what we're thinking, and we absolutely love to see that. All right, so we're going to sim to just the first game, which we're playing Florida as our first game of the year, which is interesting. Uh, some of the... Oh, okay, we got to send our scouts out eventually, too. Decided to reject our offer. Willing to accept. Lovely. Willing to accept. As long as most of them accept, dog. I'm good. I think we also offered it to too many. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights want to give us Victor Olofsson. We take a third from them, but they take a third from us and a fifth. I'm good. We don't really need a Victor Olofsson. We also don't really have the cap for it. So, yeah, I'm I'm good. We're getting some rejections here, and I, I'm feeling a little personally attacked right now. I just want most of these guys to accept, and then we'll send them out before we play our first game of the year. I, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, we have Anaheim wanting David Perron for a fifth. Or and a fifth for a third and a fourth. 
Like, we're trying to make the playoffs here. I don't think trades like that are really smart to make, if that makes any sense. So, uh, I'm A-OK -okay with uh, with not making that trade. Jacob Tenority, we get a third. We get rid of two fifths. We get a third round pick for your, taking on Jacob Tenority, who has only a year left. And honestly, like, I'm low-key considering it because Calgary shouldn't be too great. A 2026 third round pick could be decent. I'm going to accept that trade. We'll take on that contract for now. We could always ship him off elsewhere as well. Let me decline and edit the block because I feel like David Perron's probably on the block. So let me do that. And uh, that hopefully should help not get as many trade calls. Uh, Nick Cousins going the other way for Skaborska. We get a fourth. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pass, dog. Thanks, though. Let's just get through the preseason here. I think that'd be great. Okay, so I think all the scouts have talked to us. So that's good. Let's stop the sim. And let's go assign the scouts. I'll do that off video as well. And then we'll get into simming the first maybe three months for this video. I think that would be a good start. Let's start simming here. Let's see how we do. We'll sim a month at a time. I think we'll do the first three months. And then you guys can kind of like, I, I want to get your guys' input. You know, you guys are, are partial GMs. You guys are my AGMs in this series. So please, um, any help, any suggestions you guys have, I would greatly appreciate it. Not a great start to the season here with a 5-3 L, but we get a 5-3 win back and then a 6-2 loss. So not a great start, if I'm going to be honest. 2-2-0 two, two is not something we were looking at. I feel like I still got to I gotta do this real quick. I'm sorry. This is insane. I don't want to be bombarded with trade offers throughout the whole season, unless they're actually like really good. But for now, we don't really need nothing. We're content with what the team is up until the trade deadline, really. Uh, and we'll kind of see what we need. So right now... We are 3-3-0 in typical Senators fashion, unfortunately. But let's try to end this month with a positive record, and we do. So we're 6-3-0 to start off the month of, of October. Uh, right now, looking... Okay, so showing up the matchups here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. We're still getting used to the menus here, so please bear with me. So looking at the standings here, we are in 4th. Uh, we're a point behind the Red Wings and two points behind the Lightning and Leafs, so we are in contention. We also have uh, the the Wings have a game in hand on. We have a game in hand on the Wings and two on the Leafs and Lightning. Um, the Panthers are also tied with us, but they've also played two extra games as well. Looking at our team leaders, Drake Batherson has ten points. That's lovely. Ten points in what? Nine games. That's pretty good. Shabbat has seven points. Love to see that. Batherson has five goals, Kachuk with six assists, and rookie points. We have Mant Manton Paolo with two, and Linus Allmark with six goalie wins. That's things you'll have to see. Uh, I just quickly want to check out the lines. Uh, so let me do that real quick. I just want to see if anyone went up in overall kind of thing. Uh, they already moved down the lines. I wanted Stutzla there. If they can keep him there, that'd be absolutely great. That's where I wanted him, so let's keep him there. I think that that would be great, Coach. Thanks. Uh, defensively, no one's gone up. I also want Jake Sanderson up there, but you know what? I I'm going to keep it the way it is there. Or maybe he was, and I'm tripping. I don't know. No, let let's just keep the, the defense the way it was. I also want to check uh, Brady Kachuk's plus minus. We wanted him to get a plus 25. He's a minus two. So he's not off to a great start, but the season is long. That's the best part about it. All right. So let's go another month and then we'll go. Like I said, I think we'll do three months this episode and then, uh, and then we'll go from there kind of thing. All right. So let's have a good second month here. Keep up the wins, more wins than losses is the goal for this year. All right. So let's keep it going. Uh, three straight losses is not ideal. A shootout win against Boston is huge against a division opponent. We got a point against the Leafs, which we'll take. Uh, you know, the, uh, division points are going to be huge, especially with how tight the Atlantic is probably going to be. The division points, winning points against our division is huge. We're on a three-game losing streak. Make that a four-game losing streak. We get a win. Thank you. Our amateur scout is telling us it will be a good year for rookies. Hopefully, we're not in the race to get a rookie. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of two months, we are... 13, 8, and 3. Not too bad. I cannot complain with that. It could definitely be worse. Looking at the standings, we are now in third. We are a point above the Bruins. We also have two games in hand, so that's awesome. Uh, we are two points behind the Red Wings 
and we are four behind the Leafs. So we are in the race. We just got to keep it up. Love to see that. Team leaders, Drake Batherson still leading the way with points with 22. Shabbat with 12 defensively. Uh, goals, Brady Kachuk is now the, lead, the, the team leader in that with nine. Batherson has 15 assists. Rookie points is still Manton Apollo, who only got one point in the course of a month. And Linus Allmark is up to 12 wins. Now looking at the point leaders in the league, are we anywhere up there? I don't think we are. That's okay. Goal leaders? No. Assist leaders? Negative. And goalie wins? We are in six. We are actually tied for fifth with Jeremy Swayman, which is actually funny. Allmark and Swayman still joint to the hip somehow, all right? So let's go one more month, and then we'll do a little overview of the team, and then we will end the episode, and you guys can help us out. Next episode will probably be the trade deadline, boys. Uh, so yeah, all right, let's go one more month. I like doing a nice little three month sim. We are on, where are we, dude? This is a little hard to read here. Okay, we're on the first, so we're going to the first here. We're taking it up to January here, all right? So again, keep up the winning ways. A 13 8 3 record isn't great, but it isn't bad. We want it to be better, obviously. So let's keep winning games. We're on a four game winning streak from what I can see. Love to see that. A 2 nothing win against the Ducks. Carolina and Pittsburgh here. Oh, baby, we are on a win streak. Okay, we're going to have to count that up. Okay, we lose, but we're going to have to count up how long that win streak was. But now we're on a two-game losing skid, three-game losing skid, and we break that. Lovely. And we got two more games to end the month off here. Hope to end off with two wins, and we absolutely do. So before we look at the standings or anything, how big of a win streak were we on there? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 game win streak there that is amazing from our ottawa senators love to see that okay we're not going to complain with that now let's go look at everything here we're looking at the standings we are still in third even having a great month and this is what i mean the atlantic is so tight the red wings are tied with us they have a, an identical record to us um we are three points behind the bruins and we are five points behind the leafs we do have game in hand games in hand but my god boys this is absolutely insane how tight the atlantic is now looking at team leaders uh kachuk is a leading with 35 shabbat leading with 18 defensively uh kachuk with 15 goals batherson with 21 assists Manton mantin paulo with seven points and linus allmark with 17 again uh any league leaders point leaders we are nowhere to be found nowhere to be found in goals Nowhere to be found in points. But if we look at goaltending, we are now in ninth. Uh, and Jeremy Swayman kind of took the lead there. And he's got 21. So that means Boston's doing good as well. Now, let's go look at our lines. See if any overalls went up. I want to see what Brady Kachuk's plus minus is at. Um, so Brady Kachuk is at a plus 13. So he's turned it around in the last two months. Love to see that. And that's why I said there's a lot of hockey to be played. In terms of overalls, I don't really see anyone's overalls going up here. Unless I just have a horrible memory, but I really don't. And goaltending. A 922 from Linus Allmark is what we love. That's what Ottawa's been struggling with IRL is having a solid goaltender. And Linus Allmark might actually be that guy for us right now. So that is lovely jubbly. Now, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Knock on wood, we have not dealt with any injuries in three months. Let's keep that. Let's keep that up, please. All right. So, guys, that is going to be it for the first episode of our Ottawa Senators franchise mode. All right. Next episode, we will be doing a trade deadline quickly. Let's look at the team together. You guys, let me know what our deadline acquisitions should be. Personally, I think we need is Travis Hamonic. Hold up, Travis Hamonic's been on our fourth line for three months. Okay, so next episode, we might not even wait for the deadline, but regardless, trade-wise, I think we do need to make our fourth line a little better. Our third line isn't bad. Um, even a second line winger, we just, the thing is, is we don't have much cap right now. So we got to see. I think fourth line is for sure we need, and defensively, maybe a better third pairing defenseman for Nick Jensen. So let me get, let me know in the comment section down below who I should be targeting. If you guys have any specific players of mine, let me know as well. But that is going to be it for our GM mode uh, video. If you guys liked it, be sure to drop a like on it. Be sure to hit the sub button. We're on the road to 6K. And episode two of the franchise mode with our Ottawa Senators will be coming out very shortly. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.